Hi YouTubers, Jeff Gote here with uh, Ask PYS, our little series where you, the boater, asks us, the pros, about questions about electrical and electronics. So I've got a question from Chip, a fellow boater. Chip asks, how do I size breakers or fuses for a given load? Well, <laughs> that's a short and sweet question that could have a really long answer. So I'm going to try to keep it brief because I've done videos that are 45 minutes on fusing and I don't want to lose all of you just simply gonna lose it and you're gonna go on another channel. So we're gonna keep it simple. So, all right, first thing you gotta remember is that circuit breakers uh, can be thermal, there can be fuses, but it's a way to protect both the wire, right, from whatever source it is. It could be from AC, which is short power, or it could be from a generator, or it could be from a battery, so it depends. AC power is shore and generator, or DC is your batteries. And so what you're trying to do when you're putting circuit protection is you're protecting both the wire and the appliance. Or you could have two fuses for each. You should have a fuse just for the wire and you could have another fuse for the appliance. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your fuse is, especially for the wire, is gonna protect uh, and will never, if the wire is ever overloaded, the fuse will trip. So, you know, if you've got, for example, common wire size is a gauge 10 wire size. Okay. A gauge 10 wire size is commonly used for uh, AC 30 amp circuits. You can actually put a 30 amp fuse on a number 10 wire, and that's fine. The wire can handle 30 amps. But you would never want to put a 45 amp fuse or 50 amp fuse on a number 10 wire because now the wire is going to be the fuse. Right? If you oversize a fuse, you're defeating the purpose of the fuse altogether. We just had it, for instance, just recently, we had a client. Um, they had a blower, uh, an engine blower, and their blower specified 7.0 amp fuse. On that boat, they installed a 10 amp fuse, thinking a fuse is a fuse. Well, a fuse is not a fuse, right? A tire is not a tire. A home is not a home. They all come in different sizes, and you've got to use, and this is so critical. So we had our technician on that boat. So remember, blower, fuse with 10 amps, but yet the manufacturer wants that 1.5 amps. Literally, no joke. The blower was turned on, my technician was in the engine bay, the blower was on fire, smoking, not a joke, and the fuse never tripped. Why? Because the fuse was too big. So the motor got stuck probably around nine amps, not turning. Literally, I saw pictures, there's fire all on the ceiling, and because simply someone decided to switch a 10 amp fuse instead of a 7 amp. So it's important to remember when you fuse a circuit, you're fusing not only the wire, but also the appliance. And you have to, you absolutely have to follow the manufacturer's specifications. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now. And also, thanks for watching.